previously on the Children's Hospital. You know what your problem is, kid? I was in a horrible car accident. Yes, yes, that's right. Hey, kid. Next time, don't take a car. Take a helicopter. <laughs> you know what your problem is, Glenn? That this kid doesn't think helicopters are funny? Yes, that's right. Glad that everybody knows what their problem is here. <laughs> Osaka, Japan. It's Paging Dr. Maestro with your host, Dr. Owen Maestro. Thank you and welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Owen Maestro. Does anyone here have any questions for me, the doctor? Yes, sir. Does this lump look like anything to you? Uh, right here in your neck? Yeah, right there. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. I would definitely get that looked at by your primary care physician. Oh, okay. Any other questions? Um, does this lump look like anything? Let's take a look. Hey, hey. <gasps> um, Jules. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's something you should get looked at. Okay. Are there any other questions at all? Okay, is this about a lump? Yeah, no. We'll be right back, right after this. Coming up, the hypnotist teaches Dr. Maestro some tricks. Six, five, and you're under. And funny man, Howie Mandel, talks about what it's like to lose your mind. Attention staff. Dr. Maestro's TV show taping is in progress. Please hold all live ammunition training until 11 o'clock. Hey, <laughs> hi, what? Ow! Oh, they all kidnapped the clown routine. Oh, okay, using real guns. Nice touch. Valerie, I know it's you, only your hands are this rough. Okay, I'm starting to think this is a real kidnapping, which makes it a lot less funny. To me. Saw any word from the network that time? Yes, yes, we got a phone call. They said they're going to cancel the show if the ratings don't go up. No big deal. That is a very big deal, Cy. Excuse me, mister. Your show has never been about ratings. It's about an American doctor overseas dispensing medical wisdom via satellite. If they don't want to view something like that, it is their problem. I think that's our problem. You just let me be the producer, okay? You be the best doctor maestro you can be. Okay. But I really think we need to figure out this ratings thing. totally got me. That was clever. Listen, super urgent message. End of message. I Thank you. Goodbye. Damn it! Hey, y'all! Mail calls! Hey! My main man! The mailman! Where's the bee, Chief? <laughs> Anything for me, man? Oh, no. Sorry. Not today, Chief. You missing a home? Oh, yeah. I'm so homesick I could eat a house. Yeah, it's amazing. With all this mail, not one piece for you. <laughs> See you, Chief. <laughs> Come on, cat. Wake up. Anything for you. Kidding. If you call me, I will totally throw away my phone. 
Addressed to someone else. Dear Dr. Maestro, I love your show. I I've seen every episode. Does this lamp look like anything to you? Folks, I want to do something today that we've never done on the show before. Every one of you is going to get a very special gift. Okay, I'm sorry I brought that up. We don't have gifts for you. <laughs> what I'm going to do instead of giving away gifts is take some calls. <laughs> Caller number one, are you there? Yeah, hi. Th does this lamp look like anything? You people with your lamps. Time of death, 2.40. Don't you mean 2.40? <laughs> <laughs> I put a speaker on here. Listen to this. Ford copy. Hey, Ford copy, you have too much Mexican food. <laughs> okay, next caller. Oh, thank God. What is everybody in surgery or something? No one has been picking up their phone. No one. Blake, what are you doing calling in the middle of my show? Oh, yes. I've been kidnapped. I escaped. What? But I'm hiding. Find me. Oh, and they're gonna find me. Okay, Blake, listen to me. I'm gonna record this on my tiny tape recorder. Leave your phone underneath the bed. You have three, maybe four seconds to shout out specific details about these people. Do you understand? <sighs> They left. It's totally cool. So sorry to bug you during your show. Man. Ah! Oh, there's three of them. They're all wearing shirts. Of course they're wearing shirts. Everyone wears a shirt. One of them is blue. Look for a guy with a blue. No, no, no. Wait, green. What do you mean? Like a like a sea foam or a sky blue? Teal. It's like a light blue. Blake. Can you listen to me? I don't know who you are, and I don't know what you want. If you're looking for ransom, I can tell you, I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. No, forget that. I do have money, okay? I have a lot of money. I'm a doctor on TV. But if you want some of this money, you got to give me something. Something that I can use. Something like, I don't know, horseback riding lessons or like a jet ski. <laughs> no, forget that. I'll give you the money, you give me the clown. How does that sound? I will be in touch. Sorry. We're going after Blake. Get a camera. I'm ready. If you ever want to see the clown again, leave a million dollars in a briefcase on Pier 7 next to the Osaka Riverside Hotel. Hello? Sai, Blake's been kidnapped. No, it's not I. No, Sai, it's Chief. Hi, Chief. Wow, do you sound like my best friend Sherlock? Hey, you Sai. Ask her if she knows any kidnappers that wear pastels. Sai, direction completely. Bye-bye. Riverside. There's a couple Russian dudes that hold a bi-monthly sex slave auction right near there. Sai, looks like we're going to a sex slave auction. Second time this month.
so sorry, sir. Our next item is a healthy male crowd. Which one of you guys gave you the heroin? Particularly feminine hips on this one. <laughs> we'll start the bidding at 4,000 yen. Only thing bad about heroin is the puking. Other than that, A-OK. -okay. All right, you perverts! Nobody move! Too. <laughs> okay, I surrender. My hands are going up. Look at my hands. I'm counting down from seven, six, five, and you're under. That worked. Blake, wake up. Hey, come on. I'm getting out of here. We don't have much time. It's way in the air. I'll see you later, boys. <laughs> just saw on live TV, I just rescued my friend, Dr. Blake Downs. Oh. Well, listen, I'm on a lot of heroin right now. I'm really on a bad mood. You're going to pick us up for another year? So, let's get back into it. <laughs> Is this what you like, fart copter? <laughs> Scratch that mic, and have I got a show for you. You want me and Fart Copter every week? How about just Fart Copter? Farts are funny. <laughs> Coming up on this season of Fart Copter, the nation's capital gets a dose of Copter Farts. Copter reviews the new Tyler Perry movie. Endangered animals. Endangered of copter farts. And kids seem to be falling in love with fart copter. 